What's going on YouTube? Gabriel right here, represent PGA Tour, driven the movement towards improvement. We're over here, beautiful Encinitas Ranch, right next to the ocean. Blair, can you turn around and give the ocean view? Okay. It's a good course. If you guys are ever down here in San Diego, make sure you come down here. You get the ocean views, but you don't have to pay that ocean price, okay? So course vlog, we got the big BHG, big hit in German. We got myself, the star of the show in every show. And then also Corey Canfield over there. And we got Blair, you know Blair from multiple videos on the camera. So anyways, we'll film some shots, film some thoughts, and that's all I got. Beautiful day, got the ocean in the background. Encinitas Ranch, BHG, big big <laughs> It. How's it going these first few holes? We're doing all uh, right, huh? Two under, two under, Woo! four. Tees are good. Beautiful views over here at Antonius Ranch. Just gorgeous. John, a little uphill shot, can't even see the pin. That's my partner. Blair wanted. Can you get your reaction on that par put I just made? I mean, not a good wedge, not a good. Well, shot. it's a good thing you did because your partner was going to yank his putt, and you guys are going to go one down. All right there's the ocean back there. If you can see this slight blue line. Good view over here from Anthony. It's always looks better in person. Blair. Uh, Let's talk to you about you know going through swing changes. You went through a pretty big swing change, and especially for somebody who's a better player playing in tournaments, and that could be a hard thing to do. What would you tell somebody who's going through a big swing change? Uh, you know, sticking to it, or it's, you know, you might struggle for a little yeah, bit. You gotta grind it. Like you can't. When you first they say you're not doing a swing change, and you go out and practice, like, and say you spend an hour and a half practicing. If you're going through a swing change, double that. And don't ever, and don't stop thinking that you know, well, maybe I should go back to my old swing or whatnot. You have to just steadily see your progress, and you just have to practice harder until you get to the point where you're comfortable with it and it starts to feel natural. And even now, it might still doesn't feel natural. I've been doing it for I tried to change my swing in June last year, and I'm still screwed. Yeah, it's been, it, but it was a big change. Though. It wasn't it was a, like it was a complete overhaul. It wasn't like yeah. I want my setup on top of a little different. Yeah, no, it was a complete overhaul. I actually want to see some of the old videos of like my really old thing when I was like 20 compared to now. I think it's really cool to look at. Oh, Gabe said he had a bad feeling on that one. And you're gonna make it. Shot blur. Good view from up here. That's the Costa Resort right there. 
Alright, but what hole is this? Hole 8. What's the uh, score on the map? All square. All square. All, all parts for both of these, basically. No big. SLDR. Yeah. All right, Blair. Uh, tell us about the book you're reading and uh, one tip from the book that's helped you. Oh, uh, there's so many though. Just one. We'll do another in the next one. Well, no. I I think what I learned the most was what kind of golfer I was and how I practice and what kind of you know mentality I take into practice. There's an ego-oriented golfer and a mastery-oriented golfer, and. I was an ego-oriented golfer, as you might imagine. What's like one of the traits of an ego-oriented golfer? Someone who lets outside influences affect his game and how he wants to perform, like other people's opinions about his game, embarrassment if you shoot bad. That doesn't matter. A mastery-oriented golfer only cares about how he gets better and what he focuses on and the shot, what his next target is. Ego-oriented golfers think about you know, the water that's over there or whatnot, where mastery-oriented golfers think about what their target is, and there's no outside shenanigans going on in your head for instance you know I, I had a bad tournament yesterday and I, I want to say three weeks ago I probably would have been embarrassed I mean I shot 76 but I probably would have been really embarrassed about it because it's a course I've won at before and uh, now it's, I don't really care I don't, I've already forgotten about it so it's just on to the next one whatever my next shot is or target is what it's gonna be what book are you reading it's called fearless golf from dr. Gio Valiente it's only 220 pages long and it's it's like it's like changed my life I love that book. It's changed to help my temper, everything. So. Okay, thanks for sharing, Blair. You're welcome. Beauty. All right, you guys, so a little course vlog for you guys, Encinitas Ranch. It's just a beautiful day out here in San Diego. Got the ocean, got the valley behind us. Yeah, you can actually see this. Out here. A little breezy, which is always nice. Got that ocean breeze. So, anyways, it was me and my buddy Flair versus Corey and John. We ended up losing today. I shot even. Flair, what'd you shoot? 69. 69. What Corey shoot? 60. 67. 67. And John? 75. Who knows? 75. 76. He picked up some time. So. Good day, lost, but uh, we'll do a little rematch later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe, weekly golf giveaways. We're out of here. PG Tour driven.